With a history of more than 900 years, Zhou Zhuang is one of the most famous water townships in China. It is situated in Kunshan City, which is only 30 kilometers southeast of Suzhou. It is noted for its profound cultural background, the well-preserved ancient residential houses, the elegant watery views, and the strong local colored traditions and customs. This archway is made of stone, and stands upright, at the junction of the old town and new town. It is a symbol of the ancient town, and engraved four words Zenfeng Water Land. Zenfeng means the original name Zenfeng Li, of Zhou Zhang. Water Land means land around by rivers and lakes. In an area of half a square kilometer, 60% of the Zhou Zhuang structures were built during the Ming and Qing dynasties, which is from 1368 to 1911. Zhou Zhuang is surrounded and divided by lakes and rivers. Fourteen stone bridges cross the rivers, showing distinctive views of the water town. The town center developed, where four canals intersected, Clustered around the main intersections are the more lavish traditional homes, shops, etc. The two historic bridges connect two of the town's most lively shopping streets. They are the quaint twin bridge and the much larger bridge of peace and prosperity. Twin bridges built in the Ming Dynasty is the most famous and is considered the symbol of Zhou Zhang. In 1984, the canvas memory of hometown of the notable painter Chen Yifei was exhibited in New York. The canvas depicts twin bridges and has gained the world's attention for Zhou Zhang. The painting was chosen to be the first day cover of the United Nations postage stamp in 1985. Dr. Armand Hammer, an American oil tycoon, bought the painting and gave it to Chinese famous leader Deng Xiaoping. Shen House was built in 1742. It was the private property of the descendant of Shen Wansan, the first millionaire of south of Yangtze River, in the early Qing dynasty. The whole architectural complex is of the king's style, and occupies an area of more than 2,000 square meters. Over 100 rooms are divided into three sections, and each one is connected by arcades and aisles. The middle part includes the gate tower, the tea room and the main hall. Bricky gate tower carved, with lively and ingenious figures, make it a rare artwork. Tea room and main hall are places for serving guests, and the furnishings in here are all very elegant. The painted sculpture of legendary Shen Wansan is in the Tang Tower. Copper picture and storybook on the wall about Shen Wansan show all his life. Zheng House was built by Zhu's family in the Ming Dynasty and bought by Zhang's family in the early Qing Dynasty. Located to the south of the Twin Bridges, Zheng House has more than 70 rooms and takes up about 1,800 square meters. With the Wujing River flowing through, Zheng House is a dapper and graceful residential house. Has a tranquil courtyard and pond. Deep halls all represent the life of the quantum owner.
South Lake is located in the south of Zhou Zhong Town. The one-third area of South Lake belongs to Zhou Zhong. The thick forest, tall bamboo, Kam Lake, all these make the environment seem elegant and quiet, beautiful and bright. It is a dreamy place for people to stay and enjoy. Quan Fu Teaching Temple was built in 1086. It experienced expansion for several dynasties. It combined Buddhist culture with architectural arts, offering beautiful environment and auxiliary, and become a famous temple for repenting in the area of the South. There is a big bell in the temple, 1500 kilogram weight. It hangs to the Dajong commenting hall. At dawn, the monks strike the bell, and its sound is resonant enough to be heard by people. Cheng Zhitao's temple was built during 1086 to 1093 of the Song dynasty and also known as Sanctity Hall. After several periods of expansion, it is one of the most famous Taoist temples in Wutsung region. In an area of 1,500 square meters, simple but majestic Shengdi and Dumu halls, Yuhuang, Wencheng and Shengdi pavilions, are really elaborate works and masterpieces of Taoist architectures. Milu Tower is once called the Dis Tavern. It is famous for being a rallying place of the literators in old times. Numerous poets, songs and stories about Milu Tower are widespread and make it more charming. <laughs>